Osman Woodman, I got us. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to show you my little uh, dining room uh, studio setup where I shoot most of my uh, videos in which I'm uh, yammering away on a certain topic or product, service, or just commentary. I have three YouTube channels right now. I have uh, RV and Travel Adventures. I also have this uh, JMM Garza channel, which is mainly photography and video. And then I just started uh, yesterday a new channel called uh, My Normal Life. Essentially, uh, where I'm going to throw a lot of my videos that uh, in which I talk about uh, life, existence, and uh, what I'm doing, and uh, of course commentary, you know, stuff that doesn't fall into the area of photography and video, or RV and travel, which go on my other two channels, okay? So let me show you my little setup. Uh, first of all, let me turn this uh, camera around, so let's get back to it. I'm shooting this video with my little uh, smartphone, my little uh, Moto G7, a very modest little uh, $170 uh, smartphone. No stabilization. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got to get a gimbal for this. So there's my Lumix G85 and I have a field world monitor and of course it's connected via the HDMI cable and then I have uh, the microphone. The microphone right there has an extension and I use my uh, Rode Video Micro. The Video Micro is, is a, attached to this little uh, umbrella arm. This is, an, um, this is designed for umbrellas to shoot with a flash. So this connects directly to my little mic stand. I have light stands but mic stand seems to work. This is a little adapter I required. It's a quarter twenty adapter that allows it to screw into this. Uh, the quarter twenty goes in here and this is a larger uh, you know connection. There's an extension to the um, High quality, I think it's a high quality uh, cable, and that goes, ooh, and it goes to my camera right there. Okay, this is my old 501. I've had this uh, old tripod for about uh, over 20 years. It's been a while, and I just use it. I leave it here in the studio. I have newer, more advanced tripod, but this one's very smooth, and I just leave it, and I put it against that wall. When I'm photographing me sitting over here on this bench, probably usually situated right about there. And this is my background. I painted this background back in the 90s, mid 90s. I painted it and uh, it's a muslin. And then I washed it and I painted it again. And I just crumple it up and throw it in a box. And I have it connected to my little stand right here. I have a white background back here, but this one I pretty much use lately. I like the uh, gray tones. And what do you think about it? Do you have any questions about how to make a muslin uh, backdrop? Feel free to contact me. Again, there's my camera. And uh, the camera usually at a, is at a certain distance. Okay? I have my little lamp. <laughs> Used to have globes on there, but they all broke. <laughs> I've dropped them. This is a recent purchase right here. This is... Uh, an upgraded uh, diffusion material. It costs about 16 bucks. Comes in a pack of different colors and stuff. I ordered it on Walmart.com, I think, or Amazon.com, and I have it connected oh, via this old Westcott. I used to have this <clears throat> from my old studio in San Jose. It's an adapter. And it goes on to my old Fovatech budget, you know. Okay, light stand. I upgraded my light stand to these, which are Adorama products, and now I have better light stands. And these are my Fovitec 600 lights, and then I have a sheet of diffusion, and then I have these uh, diffuse uh, soft boxes. So I have two soft boxes that go through this diffusion material before it hits me, you know. You know, over there. Okay, so I'm usually sitting there, usually around there. So I got to get some little bit of distance. And there's my little camera setup. 
So if you have any questions regarding my little setup, again, this is just a $59 mic. This is your, you can get one of these for a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, it doesn't matter what you want, maybe 300 bucks. And this is a music stand I got at uh, Guitar World. And of course I have Velcro straps and this cable right here. You can get them at cheaper qualities. One of the things I learned in audio a long time ago when I was producing for like NPR, doing the audio engineering and stuff like that, is you hear a little hum, a little noise might be coming from the cable, so you always always want a good, good cable. So this is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. If you have any questions, again, feel free to contact me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. My name is, again, you guessed it, Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Please leave your friendly and kind comments below the description. And I'm hand-holding my camera, which, which does not have stabilization, my little smartphone camera. And please excuse the jitteriness. I apologize. I hope you uh, like my channel. Don't forget this channel focuses on photography and video. In the past, it used to be RVing, photography and video, but I moved my RVing, most, you know, my channel, to uh, RV and travel adventures, another channel of mine. Again, RV tra and travel adventures. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm hand holding my camera at arm's length. It's not easy when it's not stabilized. Uh, again, your kind and friendly comments are always appreciated. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.